Yeah, hello, a little intro jam for the machine jam. A lot of people ask me uh, in the last year, can you not uh, support the machine jam? It's actually deprecated by uh, native instruments. And there is a Bitwig script out of the box coming with Bitwig, but it's also pretty basic and outdated and also has some bugs in some areas. And I saw this device here, pretty cheap, second hand. So I thought, okay, why not get that? and have some fun and I think there are some pretty cool features now available because this thing is it's a shame that it's deprecated because it's uh, one of the coolest controllers I think there which were on the market now it has a 8.8 .8 grid you have these nice little faders here which has some cool features as well uh, you have transport control uh, you also have here some some output LEDs so you can see something nice encoder so you can do quite a lot of stuff uh, with it so let's walk you through that thing the lower area here is the mixing section where you have here the fader controls the upper there you can do sequencing and playing you have your scenes and you have your output section in here in this area are some additional functions so let's get started. So uh, the mixer here shows you in the color of the track. So you have here the fader in blue, yellow and so on. And also if you start playback, you will see the view meters happening, what's happening here uh, on the channel. Um, and talking view meters, you also have view meters here of the master track and you can change the master volume uh, with that fader, let's show you here the master track. So you can see that, that the master volume changes here as well. If you switch to group, you will get the, the volume of the active channel. In our case, it's, it's a bass. And if you move here, you can change the metronome volume. So let's hear that play. Let's turn on the metronome. And now you can change the metronome volume pretty loud and that's also uh, pretty handy and here we have the monitoring section which you can see also here on the screen so you can change here your cue volume for pre-listening of samples for example and also the click is influenced by that and there's also a second function with that so if you go for example to the master and you press the knob you can change also the master panorama and same here for the selected track also this one changes the panorama of the track and if you go for the headphones you can change instead of the Q volume you can change the Q uh, mix level as well. So so much here for this output section and uh, going back here to our track so as I said you can change if we're here you can change the volume. If you go to here you got all the controls for one track so you have the volume of the track you have here the panorama of this track and you have uh, up to six cents uh, for that track as well. And if you go to the auxiliary section, you will get for all the eight channels which are currently visible, you get the first cent volume. And if you press it multiple times, you get, okay, we only have here one channel, let's add another one. Uh, so we have two and you can then go through these different ascent effects. And as you saw, this is also a way to add new tracks. So if you keep the select button pressed and press all you can add effect track with that one you can add an audio track and pressing select and macro adds an instrument track okay so much for tracks if you go to the control let's go back here to our second bass track so here you see the eight currently selected parameters uh, for the track and yeah you can change them let's hear something here you can change the sub a little bit cut off here metronome thing 
So pretty nice here for jamming with the parameters. Also, you can change the parameters if you go here through the different pages with that one. And if you have multiple devices, you can also access them with select. Let's check out that. So let's add a device. If you press the browse, uh, browser, it will always open the browser for uh, the selected device. But you can change that if you want to add a device before or after it, you press the select and turn the encoder so you can move it to the front or you can move it to the end. So let's go to here and this browser you also show quickly in the introduction. These are the filter columns which you can access. For example, we want to have here, what do we want to have? Yeah, let's add for example a chorus or what, what do we have here? Destruction, why not destruction? Let's add an M so you can change here the, the different results with the encoder or also with that column. If you found the one you want to use, for example, the distortion, you can press the button or you can conform with green. And if you want to discard it, you can either press the red button or the browse button again. And these four are for pre pre listening your device or your sound as well. Okay, so we confirmed the selection, got a nice distortion here as well. And what I wanted to show here was the navigation. So with select and going left and right, you can change here the different devices uh, for editing. If you press the control button again, you will see an empty area and this is for mapping uh, your user parameters up to 64 user parameters. And this works like this. You simply select one of the parameters, say you want to map it and then move the fader and then you have mapped this fader. And this is not limited to such an area. You can pick it from anywhere. For example, we want to have here uh, this volume and you want to have it here on a fifth one and then you can change uh, the volume with that as well. So also pretty handy. Auto activate it's automation. If you use the shift, you will activate the automation for the clip. So we have here a playback record in different functions. So are also settings for that. I will not show everything. Also the, the double functions with shift here work as they are printed on there. So for example, metronome, loop, tap the tempo and so on and so forth. You can also change here the recording resolution, the automatic quantization, and you can also change for new clips. Uh, the length of the bars you want to have here and this uh, stops the playback of all clips but the playback is still ongoing. What else do we have? You saw already when I press shift there is also some other stuff coming up so these are also the text which are printed up there so for example we have the undo function, redo function, quantization and if for the MIDI clip which is selected you can transpose by one or by an I octave which we can have a look at and then you can transpose it up or down and also here a full octave up or down as well. Okay, so what modes do we have? We have here the modes for our clips where you can start the clips and also the scenes are active in all different modes. So you can uh, start the first scene. We don't, we only have one, so the second scene will stop the playback uh, and so on. Also the colors are showed, for example, if you want to have the first scene here in green, it's also uh, visible in green. And also you can change your orientation. So if you press song again, the orientation will be the other way. So it's now in the same orientation as we see here in this arranger view. You can also change between the mixer and this arranger view. So this will now be this orientation. So this fits that as well. What you also can do is if you long press the song, you will get to the bird's eye view, which means if you have lots of clips, you will see here multiple pads lit and this allows you to move in banks of eight. So it's much quicker way to step through your project. And if you press it again, you're back to the normal view. And what else comes with it is uh, several modes. We have two sequences currently and we have one play mode. Let's start with the play mode. This is this usual layout where it goes up by four and you can play these chords with those uh, specific patterns, which are easy to learn. So you can find information about that in the internet without a problem where you see different patterns, how this works. Um, and you can change here different options. For example, these four buttons can be used in combination with the encoder. For example, starting on the top, you can change the scale. You also see it here on the right area in the studio IO. You see these parameters which are stored with the document for the machine script. So if you open that up, you will see here options for 
for scales and for the node repeat, which will be stored with this specific project. And these can be changed here. So you can change the scale to minor, for example. You can change here the base node uh, while now press the notes one. And you can change also to chromatic mode where you get all possible notes. And you can change the octave as well. So you can transpose the keyboard up and down. The last one changes the groove swing. So this is uh, hidden in here in the play menu. Here we have the groove and the groove can be activated here as well uh, with the select and the swing button. So you can have the groove now. You can change it with swing and you see it also here on the area. So 53 and you can increase here the swing to your hearts alike and you can also change with shift and swing. You can toggle the swing rate. Okay, so much for the play mode. Let's move on here to the sequences. There is this note sequences, which you also show, saw in the introduction. And you have the drum sequencer as well, which you already also saw in the introduction. They both work no matter which device you have selected. So you don't need to have a drum device for the drum sequencer. You can also use it with any other device. And this is pretty easy to understand here. You have your notes now in a row. So this is the, the bass note and so on. These buttons combined with the encoder work exactly the same as in the play mode. So you can change the scale. And for example, the chromatic mode can be here applied as well. The top row is special. There you see the page where you're playing. So if you start playback, so if you start playback, you will, okay, this is pretty horrible. Let's turn that down. So you will see the page moving here up and you have currently four pages to edit. And if you select it, this will be lit in blue and you see uh, the page where you can edit then uh, your notes. Uh, going to the drum channel. So here you can select the drum channel. Uh, you can go here and in the original machine software, the drum pads are here on the right, which I personally find pretty stupid. But if you can convince me that it makes sense, I can implement this as well. But currently there are like on the launch pad and on the push there on the left. So here are your drum sounds, which you can select. And this one shows the loop length. So you can change the loop length, which is currently available for this drum pattern. So this one is one bar currently. I know the machine software also provides velocity. So this is also something on my to-do list to add uh, in the next version. Currently it works pretty simple. You select here your node and there you have here the, your area to change that. You can change the resolution by pressing the grid button and changing here the resolution for the sequencer. Top three buttons have no uh, function, but with the tune button, you can also transpose here the few of your notes you can see that better if we go here to the drum machine Let's show the drum machine so you see here this area moving if we go here you can uh, go up and if you have more drum drums in the upper area or in the lower one you can access uh, them as well so i missed a lot of things so it's always a good idea to check out the manual in the manual which is included in the download i explain all the details all the button combinations are in the manual check them out it's totally worth reading and also keep that as a reference uh, for example there's a lot of button combinations you can use clear with notes with tracks to delete them for example we can delete all these group tracks you can duplicate a track if you press it here like this you can duplicate or clear scenes and yeah check out the details also there are much more button combinations for example with solo and mute so solo you can solo here track you can mute tracks you can also have an unmute all so if you mute these two channels and use select and mute you have unmuted all channels and the same works with solo as well also you can have change the tempo with the encoder you will also see the tempo here and can change it and you can also move through your project here with the encoder if you press the grid button yeah that's i think most of the stuff and again check out the manual if you have questions please write to the kvr forum which is the easiest way and all these things are also linked from my download page. I get so many questions every day, which are just documented in the manual. Please read it. It helps a lot. Check it out, please. And tell me what you like to see enhanced. I think I can, there's more stuff coming for it. And yeah, it's already now lots of fun and make some funky music.